Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Do you just like travel days? Hey friends, it has been a while since I have filmed a vlog, but Justin and I are heading to New York City for a five night city break, so I thought I would bring you along with us. So, visiting my, my daughter this upcoming weekend. So I'm shooting a video just to kind of get ready because I'll be, know I'll be on the road and I want to put something out there for you. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on Friday or Saturday. It depends on where it falls in the, in the, when I'm going to do for the samples. So I'm doing a sample a day and these are samples from you guys and I absolutely appreciate it. I can't wait till I get, you know, 30 different samples to somebody else so they can try some of the same things that I tried. Cause I think that that's just very cool and i enjoy doing stuff like that so looking forward to that old forester single barrel barrel proof rye this was a white whale for me for a long time i could not find this i could not find this i could not find this and then within an 18 hour period i not only got this i got this russell's 13 back here which is going to actually be traded to another friend who I got a pour of this for as well. So Dan, don't worry. Your, your 13's good back there and your pour's good here. So Mr. Shirey, I got you taken care of. <clears throat> but then also got the 13th colony, 15th anniversary. And none of these things would have been possible without amazing people like you. You know, you guys put me on to great things. You not only tell me about amazing products, but you help me hunt things. And I hope in turn that I'm doing the same thing for you guys because you guys are amazing. So thank you very, very much for that. So let's get into this. This was so tough for me just because I don't see it. And when you don't see something, it makes you kind of want it more. And I actually got this at MSRP because I see these go for a lot more if I want to go full secondary. And I didn't. I said I wanted to find one of these locally and I found it locally. So I absolutely love that. So let's see what this thing is. Let's see what the stats are on this. So the stats are on this 130.4 proof warehouse K. Now this is only floor two, only floor two. Oh my gosh, it must not be any good. I think it's going to be amazing. I can tell you actually, it's going to be amazing. I never did a breakdown on it, but I had a taste on it the, on a live the other night because I poured one for a friend, Jeremy, and he's the only, <laughs> Sean, this is really good. Um, I poured another one for Dan, which he'll get at a later date. And I'll be pouring some more for other people. I have no doubt about that. Um, but I said, I tasted it, but I didn't really, you know, sometimes you just want to have a drink and not really break things down too much. And I didn't. So I said, let me do a video and break this down. Oh, and spoiler alert, this will be the pour for this week. So on the 17th, is it the 17th? No. So on the 12th, the 12th, yeah, so 10th, 11th, 12th, anyways. This upcoming Sunday is the, the 13th colony. The Sunday after that, so yeah, it will be the 17th. The 17th is when this one's going to be available. So in the comments, you're just going to have to put white whale. So if you put white whale in the comments, um, that's 17th on the 17th of March. St. Patrick's Day of all things. Great green bottle. Boy, was that synchronicity. I didn't plan that at all. Um, but you'll, you'll have an opportunity to win this pour on St. Patrick's day, which happens to be a Sunday. If you put, you know what, let's change that up. We're not going to go white. Well, it's St. Patrick's day. Let's put kiss the Irish. Let's put kiss the Irish in the comments. So hopefully you didn't get that first one and throw it in there and stop watching the video. Cause then you'll miss the true phrase is kiss the Irish. So kiss the Irish in the video. I'll pull a two, pour a two ounce pour of this. For St. Patrick's Day winter. So looking forward to that. But let's break this down a little bit. So there's some really interesting notes on this. First of all, well, it, it's got some nice sweetness to it, which I like my rise when they're sweet. I'm not getting a medicinal type of note on it. I'm not getting a super funky herbal note on it. I am getting some um, some different type of a grassy notes, but it's like a sweet, rich note. Oh, 
what a beautiful nose this thing has. So you're getting some of the different sugars on it right off the bat. I would kind of say I, it almost reminds me of like a light confectionate sugar with a little bit of a brown sugar going on. I'm getting some like sweet, sweet grassy notes on it. Tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of spearmint. And I'm and I'll and I'll tell you, I'm cinnamon and I'm I'm kind of lip black licorice and kind of spearmint sensitive, but I like them all. Um but man, this just has a nice, super sweet, like a springy day when you go outside and you can kind of smell kind of an herbal note too, where you kind of smell a lot of the flowers, you smell just the nature, the sweet nature type of thing going on. That's what I'm kind of getting on the nose on this. faint faint just faint on the oak so it's not overpowering there it's got a beautiful deep orange color to it clinging to the glass it's nice and viscous now the legs are starting to stream down but they're just not dropping right down into it so they are kind of clinging as they go down to the side and I've been having some killer pours the last week. And I'm like, man, if bourbon or, or whiskey or rye was like this all the time, man, we'd be in trouble. If $29 bottles were like this. This has a really sweet herbal funkiness on the back that I really, really like. You're getting some of the black pepper. You're getting some of the rye spice. You're probably getting some of the spice a little bit from the proof because it's 130 proofer, but it doesn't drink 130 proof. It's not burning my chest up. My palate, when it's on my tongue, it feels nice. It's just not overwhelming me. It spreads out well, so I know it's got some great oils. Get a little bit of that mint. Not only on top of the rice spice, I get kind of a an earthiness, a little bit of a, a bakery quality to it. I'm not getting a lot of like anything buttery to it, but I'm kind of getting like a little bit of a graininess, but a super sweet grain to it. So there's a lot of interesting things going on. There's kind of the a little bit of the, the brown sugar, a little bit of like the, the powdered sugar type of thing going on. You get this sweet, funky note on the back. You get a little bit of a, a nice herbal earthiness to it, but it's not like medicinal at all. So it's just kind of refreshing and sweet. The herbalness on this kind of reminds me of some of the really good Four Roses. Now, sometimes Four Roses... It can get medicinal, but sometimes they can hit it just right where it's it's almost like you're eating some, some sweet grains of some kind. And that's kind of what the, the experience I'm getting on this a little bit. It's kind of a nice sweet grain type of thing. Almost reminds me of like a sweet breakfast cereal a little bit. And I swear I get like a little bit of an orange note on it too. So a little bit of a citrusy type of orange note on this. With that great spice, a little bit of that black pepper. A um, little bit of dryness from the oak, but not overpowering at all. It just really lends to it well. Got to, it's got a medium to long finish on this, which I'm really, really digging on this. You know what? I'm very happy that I got this bottle and I'm very happy that I'm going to, almost a party pal there. Very happy. I'm going to be sharing this with, with a bunch of people. That was close. Yeah, the more, I, the more I'm getting into this, the more I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I hate that this is not available all the time on shelves for everybody at MSRP. <clears throat> Because this is an outstanding product. The one thing that I sometimes get in rise that I'm not really getting in this is I'm not getting any kind of a chocolate note, but I'm good with that. 
um, because it's bringing so many other things that are to the table. Like I said, I'm getting a sweet, grainy experience, a cereal type of experience. <clears throat> and then, like I said, there's, there's this little citrus note that pops back up, kind of an orange zest type of thing, <sighs> along with the different uh, spices on the back. So you get the sweet, you get the spicy, you get kind of the graininess, you get a little bit of an herbal quality. Then the citrus kind of tops it off. Great pour. I, I can't say anymore. I'm very happy to have this. I know this bottle will not last long because I enjoy it. And when I enjoy something, I try to get it out to people. So don't forget, kiss the Irish is the phrase. If you went with the first one, the white whale, you messed up. You should have watched the whole video. Looking forward to getting this in someone's hands. I'll be drawing for this will be St. Patty's Day. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but on St. Patrick's Day, I always have that tradition, you know, corned beef, cabbage, potatoes. My wife hates it because she thinks the house smells, but I love it, and my son likes it, and my dad loves it, so we're going to be good there. Man, I'm not sure what day this video is, but you know what? Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be Friday or Saturday. I haven't thought that far ahead, but I know I'll be traveling to see my daughter. Looking forward to seeing the grandkids, looking forward to seeing her, looking forward to having just a nice time. You know, if you happen to be working, I hope your work day goes by fast. I hope you're successful in everything that you do. I hope that you have a blast. I hope that, you know, as the clock swings by fast, you bring inspiration into other people's lives. When you get off work and it's your time, I hope it just slows down. I hope you have the opportunity to do things with friends and family. You know, I've been trying to catch up with some friends lately that, you know, it's nice that, you know, you feel bad. I ain't talked to them in such a long time. But, you know, all you got to do is pick up the phone and say, hey, man, how you doing? I ain't talked to you in a while. Had some great conversations in the last week. Absolutely love that. Most importantly, though, cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.